Hey guys, Majin Obama here, and today I want to talk about a game that so far this year has gotten quite a bit of playtime out of me, and it's Final Fantasy XIV. You know, with MMOs in me, I haven't played an MMO pretty much since WoW. In I stopped playing like in high school, so this had to have been like 05, 06, something like that. I mostly haven't played MMORPGs since then, but this game, with the way the OST was and the way people would talk about it, you know, I, I, my friends all played it. They'd always be talking about it, and then the fan fest happened. And I was like, oh man. And, and then I I would, do, while I was working at, at in my office, I used to, the YouTube algorithm just took me through the whole OST. And I was like, damn, I'm, I'm, I kind of want to re up on this game, man. It's kind of getting to me. So, long story short, I was kind of reading a lot of impressions about it, just like listening to people talk about it. And my friends were just like, yo, when are you going to stop being a phony and just run 14? And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I will. So I did. <laughs> and as of now, I've completed ARR and Heaven's Ward. And really, my previous experience playing WoW and EverQuest, I kind of had an, ex an idea of what I was getting myself into. Those stints in EverQuest and WoW definitely prepared me mentally for what ARR delivered and well through Heaven's Ward, I'll say. But 14 so far for me has been super hard carried by, I mean, it's obvious, right? Uh, this is like not debatable. The story, are, certain story arcs, the music and characters are really, really, I think would have driven the experience for me. I, I understand the difference kind of between what kind of game 14 is versus a uh, wow versus some of the other MMOs out there. And the story in particular has an almost like comic book dynamic where you can be a big fan of certain arcs, maybe not as much as other arcs, but it's an, an almost analogous to like certain writers runs in comic books. For example, the Alamigo stuff is kind of whatever to me. I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. But the Dragon Song War and specifically the Coils of Bahamut that those parts were like, okay, this is kind of hype. This is, this is pretty tight. To the point where I feel like certain story arcs in 14 so far for me, I feel like they could be their own Final Fantasy games and they'd be pretty highly ranked. Some uh, took a long, took a, they, they took a while for me to come around to, you know, Chad Crid. Uh, I came around to him. I came around to I wasn't feeling so much after the initial betrayal, but and they, oh man, the dead homies. I'll tell you how I know that the, the story is good and the presentation of the characters is good because some of these characters, I did not give a shit about them while they were alive, but I felt like after they died, I took them for granted. Now their their absence fuels my desire for revenge. Now I'm like, bro, the way Papa Limo did me like that, I, I can't let that go down the way it did without finishing the fight. But yeah, the story and the characters definitely have, uh, they do a really good job of, ma of making you care. Playing the game, uh, my class so far, I've been I've been rolling on Monk, and I didn't think I would initially when I first started playing. But he's been really fun and satisfying gameplay wise. I I, I don't know why I grab it. It, it gels with me so well. I guess it's because, you know, I, I have a background as a fighting game player, right? One of the characters I play in Tekken is Lei. He's like a stance-heavy Jackie Chan-inspired kind of, kung, you know, kung fu character. So I think maybe that's why it was kind of a naturally ac uh, attractive class to play. And I still really enjoy the process of fighting different monsters and depending on their weakness and how you have to fight them, finding the optimal you know, routing in, 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 you know, positioning and stuff like that to be able to, to use your strings against them. It's, it's kind of, it's pretty fun. It's, it always kind of keeps you on your toes. You can't like super autopilot, but I like that. And so I guess with that discussion now, we kind of looking ahead to Dawn Trail, right? By as of right now, you guys are probably already tapping in or you're you're updating your 57 gig <laughs> file to the Dawn Trail update. And I've mostly kind of been absent from the announcement shows, gameplay update discussions, etc. Because, you know, I knew I wasn't going to make it in time uh, for the full catch up. But I took a look at some of the stuff that was getting updated and the graphics update in, in particular to me is interesting because my experience up until now, there's a number of things that stick out to me about this game. And there's stuff that I think the community is kind of split on, but the, the community itself is also really weird uh, with this game. There's certain things that they overlook or that they they selectively ignore. I don't know how to how to, how to phrase it correctly, but basically it, there's a huge elephant in the room with this game. And it's this game has to be almost like at the quote unquote the end, right? The game's old. <laughs> it's 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 to the point where, you know, they're doing this graphical update for, for Dawn Trail and that's cool. But I'm asking myself like what else can they do like that i feel like some of the parts some components of the game are, are too old to almost like successfully update at a base level is that true i don't know you know this you're talking about a game that's over 10 years old multiple console generations at this point and with the story where it is what does the future of this game look like you know especially given how the current status of final fantasy 11 you know the, the obvious 
natural comparison there. When it came to my gameplay experience up until now, you know, I'm, I'm starting Stormblood, obviously. There's just some stuff to where I look at this game and I'm like, man, this game is stuck in this weird time period where it's like, it's not what it could be. You know what I mean? You know, and, and here's, if I'm cyberbullying, man, just don't look at the screen. Click X, X, X off the browser window. But I could, I, the whole time I'm playing, I mean, I'm running across certain like basic QOL quality of life, like dumb shit. And you're going to laugh at me because I sound like an idiot, you know, but for real though, like actually think about it. Cause the, the FF14 community has this thing that they'll do where they'll be like, oh yeah, it's the best game ever free to play the, the trial. They do the whole copy pasta. But what they don't tell you is you got to dump a, like a hundred hours before you get to the good shit. <laughs> you know, it's like, trust me, it's great. Just get through the first a hundred hours and then it's, you're going to love it. It's like, hold on, man. You know, like you kind of, kind of glossing over that a little bit, they, and, but they do that, that same attitude about a lot of shit with the game and this isn't me saying like you know these things are deal breakers enough to where they ruin the game experience for me i can overlook them i can look past them even though some of them are really dumb you know and one just all right off the bat the mog station i'm this is the most japanese shit <laughs> like bro why do i have to log onto a website to go do all this bullshit to do it in the bro just put it in the game why is it not just like an in-game store? It's the most like PS3 gen, like early PS3 Japan like shit. You know what I mean? But bro, just put the Mog Station in the game or, or something. There was one time, you know, I queued up for a, a dungeon and I had like a 45 or 50 minute queue time, right? So I'm like, okay, well, here's my strat. While I'm in the queue time, let me go fishing. You know, because, hey, I love to go fucking fishing in the game. So I pop on my fishing gear. And this may be like the first time I, I again, like I'm, I'm kind of dumb. Right. But hear me out on this. I'm in. The, I'm fishing knee deep, knee deep in the water. I'm and I'm pulling a big one. And then my cue pops. Holy shit. I've been waiting 50 minutes for this dungeon. Let's fucking go. And I'm mashing. But I have to unequip all my fishing shit, then reequip my monk shit. Bro, why is there not a button that's I queued in as a monk? Bro, just hit the button and you change the monk and you go you're in the queue. I missed my fucking queue. <laughs> I'm trying I'm like, why is it not letting me do it? Why is it not letting me do it? Someone had to tell me, "Oh, it's cuz you were in fishing gear. You got to get out the fishing gear, get them." Like, what the fuck? Like, why wh why would they do that? That's just a, a, a small bad example of what I'm talking about. But this game has a ton of shit like that, where it's just like little dumb things that are the way they are. And they're just like that way because it hasn't changed and no one's bitched about it. Enough. And I'm not saying like, you know, I I'm not I'm not going at them over over that thing. Right. I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff about the game. If you actually take a step back and look, try to think about it objectively, there's a lot of stuff about the game like this. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like stuff like that, you know, if they could change and it make it a much more polished experience. The one thing, though, to me that I got to talk about, we got to talk about the gold saucer, dog. Final Fantasy Loyalist, I understand, bro, the gold saucer. One reason why ARR took me a little bit longer than it should have, even though I ran through it pretty quickly, was because I spent so much fucking time in the gold saucer and the way gold saucer went for me was at first i was having a lot of fun even just messing around playing triple triad uh and really just triple triad grinding for the cards doing all the mini games getting like trying to get yo i'm just can i hold some mgp the lot of like all that stuff i was super into gold saucer for like a 20 something hour stretch at least like I, it was like every day optimal optimal timing on the lotto tickets with the with the gates and stuff like, it was it was like that but then once you get all the cards i was kind of like wait i'm still doing this but there's nothing to really try to get <laughs> anymore i have the best mount in the game if you ask me so i'm not motivated to get any of the mounts or anything like that not really interested in owning real estate you know shouts to everybody on uh actually no no shouts to you guys you guys are nasty fuck everybody on the ball among server i know what kind of nasty shit y'all are into what I realized is there's so much about what Gold Saucer could be and how I, I can't help but think about how some of this stuff, how awesome it could be if they took it the next step. And so, like, for example, right, Chocobo Racing is like almost non-existent, like nobody cares about it, right? And every time I say I'm like, man, it's such a tragedy that one of the most iconic mini games in the franchise, in the IP in 14 is just like non-existent like nobody cares about it and it's bad you know for a and i understand the reasons for why you know ne the net coded for it isn't very good there's a variety of reasons but when you say that and when you point it out every what what does every ff14 player and loyalist say like oh no one cares about that shit no one cares about chocobo racing what i'm saying is i think that's a negative feedback loop no one cares about it because it's so shitty 
and it's shitty because no one cares about it. You know, it's 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 one of those situations where I'm like, man, imagine if Chocobo Racing had true like good net code around it, ranked net play with you know weekly ter- all that stuff. If they just really went the next level with it. Same thing with Triple Triad. Triple Triad, boring game. It's solved. Blah 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 blah. Uh, no one cares about it. Well, yeah, but what if they it had? What if they just had ranked? What if instead of having to like go places and play, like what if you just had a ranked queue, hop in the ranked queue, there's a leaderboard, and the w- the top ranked players on each server play each other at the end of the year, and they qualify to go to FanFest and then play in a tournament live there. There's a different rule set with different ban lists and, car- and card sets and stuff. Like you-, you can turn it into a card game, a real card game, you know, in the game. I mean, I, Queen's Gambit, you know, with, with Seven Rebirth, I'm assuming they're going to try to add that down the line or something like that. But that's the kind of stuff I'm thinking about. It's 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 not some stuff is just so uh, it doesn't deliver in the way that it could that in the way that it should, in my opinion. And that's the kind of stuff that I've been thinking about as I played. You know, uh, obviously, the story is, is like I said, the story, the music, the presentation is really what puts this game over the top. And I think even that. With how long the story is, I'm curious with Dawn Trail, how like how are you gonna treat new players with this game? How are you gonna get them into the game? It's hitting a point now where it's like, man, if you really want to do the experience and actually do the Final Fantasy 14, you know, story the way it's supposed to be done, the investment time to do that is just like a very tall order. And I guess they could do kind of like what WoW started doing with this expansions, or you know, having just like play through some quick summary versions or something. I don't know what the solution for that is in terms of gaining new players. It's uh that's a that's a that's a tough ask. I'm not sure what do you guys think is is my thing. You got to give players I guess the option, but to me like the story is so good and by far the the main driving point of the game. Even though I know some play, some players come from other game backgrounds and they're more into the raids or whatever, you know. But the story to me is 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 the thing that really pushes this game. So it's like what are those players going to do? <laughs> or like how do you attract those people i don't know but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a quick update my favorite uh run so far the cause of bahamut and the cutscene i don't know how that stuff is not mandatory dude it's too good that was fantastic i love the dragon song war and the conclusion those story bits were were really good to me i'm excited to see what happens i want to get through stormblood quick just so i can get to you know Shadowbringers and 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 walker but anyway that's been that's mostly been my experience so far it's been mostly positive you know it's just i've just been thinking about some stuff and kind of like where the what the future holds for the game so i wanted to share that with you guys and i'll give you guys an update when i'm done with storm blood but anyway thanks for listening if you guys what do you guys think about some of the stuff i was talking about am i being too bitchy or uh should i just shut up and play or something like that whatever if you got something good to say if you got something if if it made you mad either way let me know in the comments below and i'll hot you guys later be easy